so I post a lot of my TikToks as shorts on YouTube, and I got this comment on YouTube that says, Eating plain pasta doesn't make you autistic. This is such an annoying trend. Finding identity, this one isn't it. For context, the video I had posted used the audio that's like, you're not autistic, you're just a little silly. Um, but then in place of the, you just dot 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 whatever, completely unrelated, I put a little anecdote where I had gone to Olive Garden recently after a play that I did with my theater troupe. And at Olive Garden, I specifically ordered plain pasta. Just a little, just a little silly haha. -ha. This person didn't like it. Cool. This was my response that I commented. I did respond to this person, don't worry. Normally I just respond to the person and brush this type of thing off, but I think it can be a teachable moment. So that's why I'm here. For simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna reference the actual comment to make my points. Eating plain pasta doesn't make you autistic. True. Eating plain pasta does not make you autistic. You do not have to be autistic to eat pasta without sauce or toppings. I promise you, I am never going to gatekeep plain pasta from anybody. I don't care. The thing with this, though, is that I am autistic. I have been professionally diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. I I have the tism. And the reason that I related it to it in this 10 second video that this person was so bothered by was because a lot of my food sensitivities and stuff that lead to me always making that decision with pasta are because of my autism. This is such an annoying trend. Cool, I don't care, I didn't make the trend. Find a different identity. This one isn't it. This one is also amusing to me. For a few reasons. Autism affects everything in my day-to-day -day life. It, it affects a lot of things. But it's also not my entire identity. It's actually ironic that this person said that on one of the few videos I have to this point posted in the grand scheme of the videos and stuff that I have put out that was about autism. Most of the videos, most of the things I post online are not about autism. They just aren't. I don't- I, it's not my main focus. However, I also want to advise against shaming people who do mainly focus on that in their content. I think it's important to have autistic creators and people posting things who are autistic about autism because then otherwise all your information is gonna come from people who maybe aren't the best for information about that sort of thing, like Autism Speaks. And also, some autistic people have talking about it as their special interest. So of course they're gonna talk about it. I don't talk about it all that much because my special interests are theater, music, and media analysis. So most of my content that I post online is related to theater, music, or media analysis. That was all. No hate to this person, hence why I scratched out their name in the comment. I have nothing against this person. It was just a silly little comment, and I wanted to address it because I feel like, again, teachable moment. Much love to everybody, and have a good day. Okay.